Hi everyone, lately we are experiencing some uh, rainy days and um, it's kind of cold at times and I'm thinking of something that is hot and comforting so let us check out the ingredients for today I have been catching the green eye grouper lately for my fishing trip so uh, let me skill the fish uh, and probably take one part of the fish for our dish today Now what I have here is uh, one cup of white rice with 1.5 liter of water. Make sure you wash your white rice before you start cooking the porridge. Okay, the next thing that I want to do is to put in those scallops that we have soaked and uh, pour the liquid in as well because uh, that gives more flavor to the fish porridge. Do the same for the dry shrimps and not forgetting our dry squid. Then cover this up and bring this to a boil. 
Once you see that the porridge is boiling, it's better to remove the cover. If not, uh, you will experience uh, overflow of the liquid. So uh, always pay attention when you are cooking the fish porridge. You will need to cook this fish porridge till the rice is soft. So time to time, maybe that uh, you can actually uh, take out some rice and uh, have it a taste to find the right uh, softness that you know that it is already cooked. Hmm. After cooking the rice for about 10 minutes, this um, ready cook. Okay, first we will put in the what we call the tong chai, right? This is the last one that we put in. And after that, put in one, just one teaspoon of soy sauce. As for pepper is your preference. You can put a little bit to have that um, peppery taste. Or like me, which I love pepper, I put it a little bit more. Give it a finer taste. Hmm, this is to my liking. It has a little bit more peppery. So now we need to put in the last piece of the equation, which is the fish. Quickly put in the fish. And uh, important is that you try to separate them and not put everything into one position. The next thing is that quickly, sort of like a, oops, quickly stir the whole porridge. You can see that the fish is actually only half cooked, but um, Stirring this porridge, sort of like a mixture that the fish meat do not stick together and then immediately we can off it because the heat from the porridge will further cook the fish and we want the fish to be cooked to the perfect, um, perfect texture. So we are done and we are ready to start plating the fish porridge. Well everyone, Teochew fish porridge. First I would like to try the fish that I have prepared, that green eye grouper, dip into the chili padi soy sauce that I prepared earlier on. Mm -hmm. Wow, the texture is just perfect. Oh, the dog is so excited again. Tender. Awesome. Next thing that I want to do is to have a little bit of that um, porridge and the soup, and I pick up I pick up pieces of that dry squid, the tong chai, and, and um, the um, dry shrimp. Mm. It's so nice and comforting, delicious. I'm so happy with today's cooking because the fish texture is so, so nice. Cooked perfectly. And of course the fish porridge um, is very comforting. It just has the right uh, taste, saltiness, and all the umami from the dry seafood. Wow, so happy with this. So I hope you try this recipe out and I will see you soon.